Hello everyone, welcome back to another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 11, lesson 3, customary units of capacity. Uh, page number is 709. You guys already took a lesson about units of capacity, but that was uh, metric units. That was American one. This time we will take the customary units. These are the British one. Uh, in metric units, we were having milliliters and liters for capacity and uh, for uh, the customer units, we have these five units for capacity. Okay, the first one is you guys have to memorize these things. These are just to give you guys an idea about the units. One fluid ounces is like a small bottle this one one cup is like this one pint is uh, in the size of this small packet one quart a big packet and one gallon is like a big bottle like this one so uh, I will tell you that how much uh, one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces okay and one pint is equal to two cups one quart is equal to two pints and one gallon is equal to four quarts we are not using these uh, attributes here in this lesson we will use these things in the next lesson okay here we will just estimate we will see let's say like the first example here uh, see this example okay George is filling an aquarium which container should George use to fill his aquarium most quickly so how he can fill this aquarium most quickly with a cup with a quart or with a gallon of course or with a gallon he can fill his aquarium more quickly okay let us move to the next one Okay, Nita is pouring salsa into a small bowl. Is the most reasonable estimate for capacity of the bowl 8 fluid ounces, 8 cups, 8 quarts or 8 gallons? So if it is a small bowl, okay, so can we fill it with 8 cups? Oh, it's too much. 8 pints, 8 quarts, too much. So if we can fill it with 8 fluid ounces. Similarly, the next one here, uh, this small jar, one fluid ounces will be very small, one pint, one quart or hundred quart. One pint will be will fill it almost half. So one quart, which is actually two pints, okay. Here, four fluid ounces, it will be very less for this jug. 400 cups so 10 gallons so the reasonable estimate is 10 cups uh, guys we are actually giving the reasonable estimates not the exact one okay here uh, this is a paint bucket so a paint bucket it's like a one gallon okay here this pool of course not 12 gallon just 12 bottles no 12,000 gallons and this bucket uh, a one gallon can fill it half so almost you can say two gallons uh, this spoon uh, one fluid ounce it will be more but you know we are choosing the reasonable estimate so from these option the reasonable one is one fluid ounces one fluid ounces is more than this one spoon but from these options uh, the reasonable one is this okay uh, this one like uh, eight fluid ounces a small packet of juice you can say one cup one cup is also equal to eight fluid ounces but we don't have the uh, option of one cup okay this one uh, <clears throat> already you know from the first page uh, one quart uh, it's a big glass like you can say half of it a cup and it is equal to two cups uh, one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces two cups 16 fluid ounces and here a water bottle we are giving the reasonable estimates water bottle 20 fluid ounces juice box 20 fluid ounces a sink uh, where your moms wash dishes in kitchen 
so if you fill it with water almost 10 gallons okay is it faster to water two large flower pots using a cup pitcher or a quart pitcher of course the bigger unit so a quart pitcher okay let us move to the next one here they give you uh, water usage in gallons for daily activities like taking shower it uses 15 to 30 gallons so uh, brushing teeth with running water which we shouldn't do one to two uh, wash dishes by hand 20 wash dishes in dishwasher 9 to 12 so you can see that uh, when you wash dishes for dishwasher it consume less water so we should use that uh, flush toilet five to seven gallons of water okay so uh, if Kelly takes one shower each day is it reasonable to say that she could use 210 gallons so let us say for example if we choose the maximum 30 gallons so 30 in one week we have seven days 30 times 7 210 so we can say yes okay Kelly brushes her teeth three times each day so uh, she leaves the water running is it reasonable to say that she used two cups of water on one day yeah it's reasonable if she brush her teeth without running water but with running water you see here it's one to two gallon if we choose the minimum one let's say one gallon even that is more than two cups okay name two things in your classroom you can uh, name by yourself or you can write these ones also i hope you guys understand the lesson and don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel learn math with mr saad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video thank you so much guys and also send me the homeworks through pioneer have a nice day